Okay, welcome to my first video tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we're basically just going to be creating a blank SFML window. And uh, first, let's uh, get started. We'll add the uh, headers here. And the first one we'll add is the graphics. And then the next one we'll add is the window header file. Now we can create our main function. And we can return exit success, telling the program when it reaches that point that it was successful, and we'll close out. So first we'll uh, create a SFML window using the SF header or namespace, and call render video game SF video mode and we'll create the screen 800 by 600 and uh, color depth is 32 bits then we'll name the window SFML blank window and now we can go ahead and create our event handler and start our game loop so the game is opened everything in the game will get handled in this while loop. Uh, next loop we're going to create is a while loop for the event handler. So we'll game, get event, event. Now we're ready to add an event in here. Um, normally it'd be like uh, handling game input, uh, pressing a key on the keyboard, but SFML has their own interface for that. So the only thing we're going to be adding in here right now is just a if event type equals equals sf colon colon event closed and then we'll call game close. What that does is when you hit the x in the upper right corner of the window it will close out the program some cases you might not need that. If you run in full screen mode, it's obviously of no use. Uh, next, we'll go ahead and call game. We'll clear the window. And then we'll call game display. Basically, this will clear the graphics. And this will display the graphics. Um, sort of kind of like an update function. And that's it. That created our window. It's blank. Let's go ahead and build it and now we can run the program there it is a black window it's blank so we can go ahead and close it hitting that X button as I explained to you with the event handler we can go ahead and close the console window and that's it